I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on transformation of objects. Now, this geometry of transformation is taught to many students in junior school, middle school, and also in high school. However, the method is to use a tracing paper like this. With the help of a tracing paper, students are able to get the image and they are able to get the right answer. However, in the test, they are not provided with a tracing paper. And now they have to do it on their own without a tracing paper. How can they do that? And that is one reason why most of the time they are unable to answer this question correctly. So I have a couple of videos on this just to make you understand how to work with the coordinate points. So we'll take up an example which is very popular. We have an object in the shape of an L and we'll actually reflect the object about the y-axis and then rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise about the point P. Now this is also very interesting. Rotation about an external point is not really covered in books. However, the question in the test is always with a point outside the origin, right? Somewhere else. So, so another reason for their providing a wrong answer. So we are going to address both the issues now. So let's see how to do it. So first part is label all the vertices, right? So we'll label them as A, B, C, D, E, and F. And for each vertex, we will write down the coordinates as per the coordinate system given to us. Origin O will be considered. So coordinates of A, as you can see, are what? Coordinates of A are minus 2, 2. So we'll write minus 2, 2. Now, what is the coordinates of B? Point B here is minus 2, 4. I mean, minus 2, 4. Coordinates of C, minus 3, 4. D, minus 3, 3. E minus 5, 3 and F is minus 5, 2. So first step is to clearly write down the coordinates of each and every point. And now let's try to do the transformations. The first transformation which we are looking into is reflect the object about the y-axis. That means this has to go on this side, correct? So this point here will be reflected same distance away. So on the coordinate system, you could actually do this, right? Going in an order, A is this point, B dash, C will go to this place, D will come down, and E, which is five units from zero, minus five, will become five units, right? So what you notice here, is that the x values sign changes. Those negative numbers become positive. But the y value coordinates remain exactly same. We call this transformation of points, right? So initially, we have any coordinate x and y. Once you do this reflection, let me write reflection here. Reflect on y axis. In that case, the coordinates of x become negative, right? But the y coordinates remain same. So if I do the transformation, what will happen to my points? A will become A dash and this negative value becomes positive 2, y value becomes positive 2. It remains the same, right? So for B, C, these image points, I like you to pause the video, write these points and then check with my result, right? So I'm taking time only to give you some extra time to write down. So when you do the reflection, x values become negative for what they are. So this negative 2 will become 2, negative 3 will become 3, negative 3 will become 3, minus 5 become positive 5, that will also become positive 5. The y values remain same, so we'll write them as 4, exactly same. Do you see that part? So, so easy to do. Now you can check, we actually get the same points right so let's join these and get the first answer which is reflection on y-axis so you don't really need uh, to trace and then do reflection right well 
what you can see here is a mirror image same distance away and coordinate points as you can clearly see changes for x but not for y when we are reflecting on the y-axis. Now we are going to address a very difficult issue and that is how do we rotate it 90 degrees clockwise about the point P, right? So, so about this point we have to rotate. Do you, are you getting my point? About this point. We have to rotate this to 90 degrees. So it will come somewhere there, right? Now how can we do it? Well, one way is 90 degrees means whenever you do 90 degrees rotation, let me write down here, if I have 90 degrees clockwise rotation, right? In that case, we expect something from here to get to this place, correct? So when you come to this place, x remains positive, y becomes negative. But what really happens is that x and y points swap, you understand? So if I'm comparing with my original point set, whatever it is, x and y swap. So instead of xy, it becomes y with minus of x minus since it goes to coordinate 4. So that becomes your transformation. Correct? But that is when you are doing about origin. Right? So when you are doing about origin, then this happens. This is when you do about origin. Now what happens when you do not from origin but some other point? Instead of doing from origin, we have to do from point P. Right? So we have to do from point P. So how should we do with rotation from point P? That definitely means we have to read new set of points here, right? So we'll call that new set of points as, uh, let us say, uh, now let me use that nomenclature, A, we'll call them A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash and f dash but we are going to read these points from the point p so let's write down these coordinates as if we have a new coordinate system which is focused at p so if you see from p the point a dash you are going to go one two three four right and one up so i could write this as four and one so with reference to p as origin think like this if my new coordinate system was now at P rather than this origin, think like this, that you have your new system which is kind of at this place. Does it make sense to you? So see your points with reference to P. So A dash will be 4 units to the right, 1 up. As far as B is concerned, 4 units right, 1, 2, 3 up. So I'll write this as 4, 3. Do you see that? And for C, it is 5 units right and 3 up. 5 and 3. For D, it is 5 and 2. For E, it is, see you have to count from P, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 2, right? And the last one is 7 and 1 up. So we are checking from this new axis. You are getting my point. We are checking from this axis now. Where P is our new center. Do you understand? So we change the center since we have to rotate about the point P. right? And now we are going to flip the points and get the right answer. So we'll now we will flip because 90 degrees clockwise means you have to flip the points and change the sign for the y. So it will be 1 minus 4. You get the point, right? So it will be 3 minus 4. It will be 3 minus 5. It will be 2 minus 5. And here again 2 minus 7. And in this case 1 minus 7. But these points are with new coordinate system. with p as origin you understand well p as origin perfect now let's plot these points one minus four means you go one unit to the right and one two three four that becomes the a double dash 
does it make sense to you? This is our new point. 3 minus 4. So you go 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2, 3, 4. That is B dash. Double dash. C, 3 minus 5. So this is 3, and this was 4. You go 1 down. C double dash. 2 minus 5. So you come here, which is D dash, double dash. And then 2 minus 7 and 2 minus 7 from P we are going. So 1, 2 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Do you see that point? Not with the old axis, with the new one, right? Then it is 1 minus 7. So 1 minus 7. So one step here and 7 down brings you there. And then you can combine it to make your final drawing. Does it make sense to you? So what you get is the counterclockwise, clockwise 90 degrees rotation about an external point. Do you see that part? So what we did here was we created a new coordinate system with P as the origin and then flipped the points with sign change. Does it make sense to you? That is how you could easily do in your test paper. These are the simplest steps which can help you go through such an exercise. I hope it makes sense, right? And in case you need to find the final points, right, you could read them with the original system. You could read the new final points. You can say, now I have the final points as A double dash is minus 1, 3. Minus 3, sorry. B double dash is... 1 and minus 3. C double dash, as per the original system, 1 and minus 4. Do you see that? D double dash will be 0 and minus 4. E double dash will be 0 and minus 6. And F double dash will be minus 1 and minus 6. Does make sense to you? So you also get your final points which you can read from the graph. But the trick involved here is to create a new axis and then apply your knowledge of whatever you've learned for transformation of points to get the new points. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.